What is up guys, it is Seth from Sports Gamers Online here and today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Rival Stars College Football. Um, it's a new game that came out about a couple weeks ago um, and I thought it was a pretty good looking game. I thought I would try it out and give it a little bit of a review. So, uh, it'll be just kind of an overview of this game and then I'll jump into a uh, real quick game. So, um, first thing, uh, right when you enter the game you got this opening screen. Where you can change your identity of your college that's basically colors styles logos and your name uh, and then you got your stadium uh, which will generate better revenue for you um, during or when you're playing games you got your training field uh, which will give you little whistles that I will go over in a little bit um, and then you got your gift which basically uh, I guess alumni will come back and give you gifts or local businesses will give you gifts um, every couple of hours every three hours to be exact and then there's funds where you can buy buy stuff um then you got your alliance this is basically like your league um and it it's, doesn't do nearly as much as it does in like mad mobile or fifa mobile or a game like that you can only have 10 members in a league and so far it doesn't really do much other than you can talk with your uh people in your alliance uh there's gonna be a leaderboard and hopefully tournaments and stuff like that coming soon um and you can only have 10 members in it uh I would ask you guys to join, but you can only have 10 members in it. Um, so yeah, moving on, you got your recruit, where you can recruit locally, recruit statewide or nationwide. Um, you get a new, um, basically these are the kind of things that you get. You get, oh my gosh, that is a crazy player that we just got. Cornerback Demetrius Franklin. Um, I will tell you guys about that in a bit. But basically, they'll give you players and plays, um, or you can buy new uh, players or plays um, and that was actually a crazy player that we just got there um, Demetrius Blanker he's a four star player um, so he's not crazy but uh, or he is good he's a four star player um, and basically um, you can level these guys up uh, by getting the stars by doing different things that, that kind of goals or tasks that you need to do and you can level different players up make them better using the whistles that I told you guys about a little earlier um, and basically you got your offense, you got your defense, and then you got your playbook and each play has a different percent chance of getting you the amount of yards that it says it will. When I get into gameplay, I'll go over that a little more, but yeah, basically you got your offense, you got your defense, um, and each player kind of has different stats like quarterbacks. You can see there your four different stats moving on into the gameplay. Uh, gameplay, I think could definitely, uh, have a little bit of a boost. I think it is pretty fun. You got your daily knockout round, which is basically against the TPU. Then you got your weekday tournament, which is against other people's real teams. They aren't actually play calling against you, but uh, you are playing against other people's real teams. I'm going to get it right into a daily knockout tournament. Um, gameplay, it could definitely have some boosts. Uh, considering this is a college football game, I definitely think it would make the game much more fun if they actually had like a season mode, whether that was online or just single player. I think a season mode where you get ranked, you try to get into a good bowl game or try to make it into the college football playoffs. I think that would be awesome. That would add a huge amount of depth to this game. I think it would be so fun. Um, and I would definitely play this game more if they added a like a season feature to the game because that is in real life what college football is about. Getting as high ranked as you can, making the college playoffs. So that would be great if they could add this. However, I do like the gameplay and games in this uh in this uh, app basically each play has a percent chance of working and if it works it'll um it'll basically give you uh the yards that it says around as you can see the average yards are 10.5 so it gave me around 13 or around 10.5 yards and ended up giving me 13 yards as you can see here running back screen um plays will have a better chance of working uh depending on how good your players are and how good the opponent's players are um and basically, there is a small chance, as you can see, the little different colored uh, part of the pie chart. Uh, there's a small chance of something like an interception or something huge happening uh, or a huge play downfield happening. So either an interception, a fumble, or like a 50-yard run or pass or something like that. There's a small chance of that happening and then a bigger chance of something more minor happening like a small loss of yards or an average play. Um, as you can see there, that's a touchdown. Uh, there we go. That's what we were looking for. Uh, I'm just going to kick the field goal here. Uh, PAT attempt. All right. Um, and now I'll show you guys a little bit of defense. 
Um, the CPU tournaments are single player or single player tournaments. They are pretty easy. Um, later on, you do play harder and harder teams. However, it's not that hard, um, especially once you have a decent team. Uh, you can kind of just basically win every game. As you can see there, the chances of that of the computer completing that play were so low there just because of the fact that my defense is so much better than his offense. And as you can see, my my uh, offensive plays have a huge chance of working uh, just because of the fact that my offense is so much better than his defense. Let's go for a Hail Mary here, see if we can score a touchdown, and okay. Um, we got 32 seconds left, so we can probably get two more playoff plays off before halftime. But basically, I'm definitely going to win this game. Uh, let's just go, yeah, we're going to go for the field goal here. And basically, you get uh, new prizes for every game that you win and farther you progress along in these tournaments. So that's basically all I have to say for this game. Um, it is a pretty fun game, especially if you like the uh, basketball version of this game that you had. Oh, fumble, there we go. Um, yeah, this is a pretty fun game. Again, especially if you had the basketball version. It's made by Pickpock. They also made a basketball version of this game. And I definitely think, uh, while this is a fun game, there are definitely some improvements that can be made, and I hope that are coming. Because this game could definitely be awesome if you could get some sort of online season going on or something like that. Um, that would be great. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you're on YouTube, remember to drop a like as well as subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Go check this game out and see ya.